it's flip through time. I totally forgot to do a flip through of this. So let's do it. This is a extra small minimalism art journal dot journal. They call it extra small. I think they, I think they, it's new. I could be wrong, but this used to be called their B6, even though it is firmly in between an A6 and a B6. It is four and a half by six and a half. It's a half an inch bigger on both sides than an A6, half an inch smaller than a B6. It's actually a really great size, but it's one of those where it doesn't make sense in the, in the community. If you don't care about covers and everything else, you're fine. Um, I used this journal after my a 6 from July through October, um, tabs, and I don't know, I don't know, it's a great little journal, um, the paper is amazing, I will basically do a flip through and show you everything, there's a pen test page at the back that I will show at the end, I did take a Posca, is that what that, those are called? Posca, Posca pen, the acrylic pens, and wrote on it 2020, so when it goes on my shelf, which I'm reorganizing, and then I put a um, pineapple sticker on it, and I put this sticker on so that it barely rubs this. I, I don't love when my, I'm weird, you know, what can I say? So Emmett, um, my P.O. Box, this is a quote from R.S. Damico, she was a runaway rebel blood in her veins, a renegade never to be tamed. I um, relate to that and love it. This was a very simple bullet journal, so I didn't need to use my whole index page. I probably could add some things here. I just didn't yet. Um, my July monthly, which is carryover. This is how I've been doing my monthlies. Um... Since that A6, so, I mean, when I was in a traveler's notebook, this was very similar to my monthlies. I started off, got to remember bitching. I started off doing this. Um, it was a takeaway from my pocket, and it, it was it was awful. It just didn't work. It was a, made me very messy, made me feel very messy. This is when I started pulling in washi tape, and I... Did I create? I created. Oh well, look at we know when I created the stickers. I created these stickers. Um, they're in my shop. These are awesome. So are these. These are made made to fit Hobonichi, but these were to do my basically my daily to do list is what it is. And then here is when I went, hey, what if I did this? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I like this. This is, I need some organization, and this is beautiful. And, like, I have stickers, like, some from my shop, some from Coffee Monster. That is, um, caffeine and paper plans. God, every time I do this, I'm going to learn it. Miss Moss, I think that's the extent of those. Um, so then, the next week, this is my week overview, and then I was doing... I found a rhythm, and I'm like, love this. Pink means I forwarded it. Purple means I took care of it. Pretty simple. Um, I started working on, uh, I got some uh, ha, some um, new washi in, and that just kind of brought it all together. It really did. Um, these are sticky notes, and sometimes you just leave sticky notes in. Again, I had already done all of these and like pre-planned to start. So this is how I rolled. And once I got this rhythm going, it worked. I, I love looking at this. This makes me so happy. We move it on to August. Um, in my monthly, I used I used highlighters to, to kind of give an idea of like time off. If there's an event, if somebody, like even if somebody's coming to see me, I'll do it. Uh, postponed because COVID. I also, I think I set this up beforehand. I'm so mad at myself. 
Um, I like this, but it's not, it's not, it's not what works for me. This is what I wanted. So I made this work by, oh, that was it. I made this work by carrying Sunday over to what would have been my overview or to-do list for the week. And then we moved into here and I got my Coffee Monster Co. Um, washi that I love. So, okay. I also started doing the washi tape for vacation. And I, I like that. I like that because I look at it, I look at it and I know something's up. That is something I want to get a little more regular about using, planning ahead. I don't know. Um, again, just the rest of August, these stickers I love. I really loved this setup. I honestly say this is where I started to fall into it. And I just, I really, really enjoyed it. Even though I missed the Stology, the paper, the notebook, the system here I loved. So September, again, simple overview, kind of, we, COVID, <laughs> it changes, like it made everything. I started putting a washi down here. To, why is my printer making noise? I don't know. I started um, putting a washi down here. I loved this color setup. I should actually rem do this again. This would be a fun midwinter when it's gray in Michigan. I switched from clear to white stickers. Um, that's something I will just randomly do, be, especially from my shop, if I if what's available. Oh, I ordered a Pasca pen there. That's kind of funny since I was just talking about them. So we carried on. Um, I also did this where I would use my photo washi and then put a word sticker over it. I liked that. There's a lot of little things in this that I like that I don't always do but want to do. Things to remember. My week started falling into a very set pattern. And they're still in that pattern, except I don't think I've been doing this. I think I fell out of doing that, and I should get back into that because I really like it. Again, same thing. This one I use glitter. Like, yeah, but let's have some sparkle in your life. So, and oh, here's one where I put two stickers together and a cross, and I really loved that. We were in the fall. Fall's my favorite, so you have to forgive me. And the purple, all the purples. Okay. So after September, I had decided that I was done. Um, I couldn't make, I needed, I needed more out of this. It, uh, there were things I wasn't, didn't have in here that I needed to have. So I, I wanted to move back into my Stology and I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this with the end of the year coming in. I really wanted to start fresh in January. All that worked out in my head. So what I decided to do is I left a few pages blank here for some notes because I was making a lot of notes. I put in October. I finished off the first week of October as the weekly and then I went into dailies. We did a little weekend away and um, I'm so glad we did because we've been like not really able to go places. So dailies for me were different in here being a little bigger than an a6 it was a little more room you can see sometimes i kind of had a two side thing going on i i i was also using up washi so it didn't all match at first like i did this one different this is really pretty by the way and then i switched over to this for the rest of the week and then i decided one of the things when you do dailies and honestly it totally depends how picky you are how I don't want to say like I guess it's particular would be a good word I wanted the pages to all always be Monday here when you have seven it doesn't work that way so I decided to bring in the to-do list let's do a to-do list for the week it can be random notes or whatever so I made it look cute, and then I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday would also fall on a page. And then, this is the first time I did that, right? Um, I actually worked this weekend, and so I had a lot of personal stuff to do and work stuff, and I wanted to really note that I was working and how many hours, and it was terrible. It was a ter I don't even like looking at this page. 
So then I did it again with the to-do. So then Monday. So it all kind of flowed. And I really, I really liked that. So if dailies are something you love, but for some reason they don't like sit well with you, or there's something about them that just bugs you, try setting it up so that they fall on the same page all the time. Because maybe it's just little little games we play with our brains. I mean, honestly, that's what it can be. Um, I did this again, and it kind of worked, kind of didn't work. Adobe, I can't believe Adobe Max was that long ago, and I still haven't finished it. Work. Um, you can see here I didn't do anything, which is fine. I kind of like the way it breaks it up. Again, very. I found that I was using more stickers, which I'm fine with. Totally fine with. They look, they look they're pretty. Yeah, but I went back. So it's so funny because this day was so crazy. Probably could have used this, but this worked for me. So, eh. and here we use my ghost. God, I love those ghosts. And um, same thing again. And, oh, I did switch washi there. That's kind of interesting. I, I did the, okay, so this is like right around Halloween. So I did Helen's houses here, Coffee Monster Co., on both those days. And then I also use the ghost washi here. I'm all out of the ghost washi. It was a Simply Gilded from God, probably two, maybe three years ago. I just held on to it. Love it. So that's kind of how we are there. Oh, and then this one. I used a little bit of washi with this one for like nap time. I run myself pretty ragged. So when my when I crash, when my body crashes, I let it. I have discovered that by doing that, I tend to not get stress migraines or exhaustion migraines or make myself sick. So I run myself ragged, but when I crash, I crash. And I'm better at the point now where when that happens, I don't also freak out the next day because so much I'm behind by so much. I just got to let it go. These are just some random notes, YouTube ideas, printables ideas, few blank pages. Um, I was kind of working into the get it done you guys heard me talk about it. Anyway, I hate the inbox word, so I was working some stuff out there, kind of thinking stickers. Nah. These stickers are actually in my shop now. Not these. These. Some things happen. Um, this is, I'm working on a tattoo design for myself. Your mouth, the fates plan. Just a random quote. This was going to be a gratitude journal, and I moved my gratitude journal into my um, B6 Sixology, which is sitting right there. That's why I'm pointing. Uh, doodled some little flowers because that's what I tend to do. Doodled oh, a hocus pocus like thing. I don't know. That didn't happen. I did. I read. I don't have time. Um, this was me figuring out the background for my Michigan stickers. I packaged them and I was figuring out the background because I have a little guy who sits here at my website. Design. It's all planning. Um, more stickers. Look, the meeting one is in my shop because I wrote it down. This is the pen test page. You can, that's how good the paper is. Like, okay, pen tell, Sharpie pen, Pilot, Pilot Friction, Paper Mate Flare, Posca, Precise. I don't know what those are. Blue, oh, so pretty, oh, so dark. The number of boxes and then a picture of Emmett at the end. There's nothing in the back pocket. I have cleaned it out. Actually, there wasn't anything in there. But I did have a couple sticky notes here I took off. And then just my little dragon sticker at the back. That is four months in my mini bullet journal. Um, if you have any questions at all, please ask them. I love to answer questions. They don't bother me at all. Um, I have moved back into Astology. If you haven't watched another video of mine, I'm currently using, so I make a mess, AB6 in a... Um, Plum. I think it's Plum. I think it's called Plum. I could be wrong. Mal D-ringed Malden. I bought it D-ringed because I didn't do it. So a B6 Stology. And for the new year, my plan is to move into a B6 Slim. I have no intention of probably staying in one journal all year. I will probably go. I have. I have. I'll probably go through it. So my original thought was that I wanted one book for the whole year. And I, and cause 2020 bugged me that I didn't have it like that, but I, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm going to be in a couple different ones. So we'll see where the year takes me. I hope you enjoyed the flip guys until next time. Be kind.